So most children stayed at school for lunch, but there wasn't a cafeteria and there wasn't really a store to buy food. You brought leftovers from home and put them probably in a box, something like this, or a tin that was left over from something at home like butter or lard. So in this lunch, today we have a sandwich and an apple and a hard boiled egg. And notice nothing's in a package like you would buy at the store. So in 1895, if you were in class, there weren't very many books. Sometimes the whole class would have several books to share. And this was the most popular reader from mid 1800s all the way up to 1940. It was still used extensively in rural schoolhouses in the United States. McGuffey also put out a spelling book. And these often had little moral sayings and poems and stories. At school, they were also teaching morality and how to be a good person. That was an important part of the curriculum. Since there weren't many books, the students had to share and a lot of the work was done in what you would call recitation and the teacher would ask the question and the answer would be repeated by all of the students. For instance, if I were reading in the sixth reader of the McGuffey Reader, I might ask the class to memorize and repeat the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And I would say, repeat after me students and they would repeat and then perhaps i would ask a student to uh, stand at their desks and uh, at their desk and uh, repeat the proverb on their own a penny saved is a penny earned and a new broom sweeps clean an apple a day keeps the doctor away and a rolling stone gathers no moss and so towing the line, if you see the lines down here, they were supposed to stand with very good posture. Feet together, toes together, holding the book in this fashion and speaking clearly with your head up. Ladies would never cross their legs and you could be in trouble for slouching in your desk. I want to point out some of the clothes that I'm wearing today. Ladies always wore a high neck unless it was an evening dress. So your teacher would be dressed in a collar, a, a blouse with a high collar, long sleeves. Even in the summer, she would wear a long skirt. I've got my boots and I'm wearing my petticoat and I'm wearing my chemise and I'm wearing my drawers and my black stockings. So even in the middle of summer, a lady was expected to wear all of these undergarments and the long sleeves and high neck. Well, thank you students. You've been very attentive. I'm very pleased with the work you've done today. Now I'd like everyone to stand up next to their desk. Ladies, I would like you to curtsy and say, good day, Miss Julie. The gentlemen can bow like this. Go ahead and practice that. Very good.